Hi, this is Darren with Fazio's Music. Welcome to Monday Morning Maintenance. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you today about um, is saxophone low range. Um, saxophone low range can be tricky um, and hard to get sometimes, and sometimes it's difficult to know if it's your reed or if it may be a mechanical issue um, with the saxophone. So I'm going to show you how to eliminate um, a couple of the possibilities. Um, what you want to do is you want to you want to finger a, a F and then look at this particular pad cup right here. So when you have your F down, I want you to play a G sharp. And if you see movement in this key, then it's out of adjustment. And every time you go to play your low notes, that pad cup is going to pop up and cause you problems and you're going to have probably have warbling or you're not going to be able to play your B or B flat at all. So if you see any movement in that, you need to get your horn into the shop and have it properly adjusted. Another way to, to, to show if it, it happens to be the horn, if that, one, if that one checks out good and there's no movement, um, you can look at the two bell keys, the B and the B flat. Now, you'll need a flashlight for this one. I'm going to use just a normal leak light. Um, but a flashlight will work. You want to get in a dark room Put your flashlight in the bell and playing your B flat, just pushing your B flat key down. If you feel the pad seat and you still see light, then your bell keys are not adjusted properly. Um, and that will cause you issues um, in the low range. So, with light touch, you should not see any light whatsoever once those keys are closed. Otherwise, you have a serious leak and you're not, you're not going to be able to get your. Uh, B or B flat hour. It's, it's just not going to uh, play easily. So that's all there is to it. If you have those problems, just get her into the shop. We'll get it taken care of. Um, not a big deal, um, but we'll cause uh, the horn to play uh, poorly. All right. Thanks for joining me.